did you go to school? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Did you go to school today? Yes. Okay. And what was your favorite part about today? What did you enjoy the most? Uh, I enjoyed the most is uh, is uh, doing projects. Yes, you said you like projects. So did you have a project today? <sighs> I do the project, but next week I have to, but next, but uh, the next week I have to borrow it. You, next week you have a project. Yes. Okay. And what subject is the project for? Is it for English? Is it for Vietnamese? Is it for geography or history? No. Uh... I know that like uh, world people, world poor people, I guess. Okay, about the poor people in the world. Yes. Okay, so I think that is social studies. Does that sound familiar? Yes. Okay, social studies. Okay. So last time I did the, the demo with you to introduce you to English. So let's go over a couple things again. So firstly, I need you to try and teach me your name. I'm not very good with Vietnamese names, so I'm going to try. So if you can say it slowly, I'll try and copy you. Uh, my name is Khoi Nguyen. Khoi. Yes. Okay, Koi. So can I just call you Koi? Yes. Okay, great. That that works. And you are 12? No, 11. 11. Okay, I was one year off. <laughs> okay. And you are in grade 5. What year of school are you in? I'm in year 6. Year six. Okay, good. And do you have any brothers or sisters? I have one sister. Okay, and how old is she? She, she is, she is uh, larger than me, three years old. Okay, she's three years older. So if you are 11, that means she is 14. Okay, and do you get along with your sister? Are you friends or do you fight? I think friends. You're friends. Okay, good. Okay. So, I am teacher Ray. I will be your teacher from now. Okay. And I come from South Africa. Okay. okay. Okay, so are there any questions you'd like to ask me before we start our lesson? No. No. Okay. Let's see what we are doing today. Okay. So this is unit one. Your units are quite long. So let's see how far we get today. Okay, so can you see the PowerPoint? Yes. Okay. If at any point you don't understand me or you need me to make something more clear for you, tell me and I'll help you. Okay. Okay, so what does this say? Uh, this the unit one is uh, all about you. All about you, yes. So we are going to learn all about you. Okay. So 1A is your vocabulary and listening. Personality. So can you tell me what is a personality? <clears throat> well, uh, this means like uh, pe people's spacing, I think. Okay, it's how a person is. If you are friendly, you have a friendly personality. 
if you're shy and you're quiet, then you have a quiet and shy personality. If you're very loud and very talkative, you have a loud personality and a bubbly personality. Okay, so what is your personality? What are you like? Well, I like a friendly. Yes, friendly. You also seem very quiet. Okay. So, are you able to read this for me? Uh, yes. <clears throat> she generous and kind. Her husband is quiet, lazy, and rude. She is so... So, she must be a patience. He nasty and dishonest. He has very clever, but not in a good way. She's shy and quiet, but she not. And she also very strong at determination. But he strong and confident, almost unrest. He actually serious, but but he can be funny. Okay. <clears throat> so how many English movies have you watched? <clears throat> Do you more watch in more than 20? Yes. Okay. So do you know where this man comes from? Uh, I think Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Okay. Do you know where he comes from? He come uh, from the Batman night. Uh, yeah. He is the Joker. Good. You know your movie. Do you know where she is from? I think it's from Twilight. Okay. And this lady? Uh, Harry Potter. You don't know? Yeah, I think it's Harry Potter. A Harry Potter. Okay. Oh, Harbor. Uh, I'm not too sure, actually. We'll double check that now. Okay. And this lady here? Yes, yeah, from Family Guy. Okay, it's not Family Guy. It's very similar to Family Guy. It's called The Simpsons. Okay, and this man over here? It's from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, Pirates of the Caribbean. Good, you know your English movies. Okay, so if the sentence says she's, it means it's a male or female, lady or man. Lady, lady. Lady, good. Okay, so do you know what generous means? No. Okay, generous means, um, <clears throat> okay, let's try and put it into an example for you. Let's say I have a lot of money and I see someone that needs some help. So I help them and I buy them something to eat. It means I am being generous. I am being kind and I am helping somebody else. Do you have an idea? Mm, yes. Okay. And kind. Her husband is quite lazy. You know what lazy means? Yes. Okay, good. And rude. So she has to be patient. Do you know what patient means? No. Okay. Patient means um, you have a lot of time. You, you don't get angry very quickly. So if you are patient, it means if a little child is annoying you and pulling on your pants and saying, help me, help me, help me, you don't turn around and shout at them and say, go away. You bend down, you talk to them nicely, you say, okay, how can I help you? That means you are patient. Okay, so who do you think, out of the people here that you know, are generous and kind and patient? And who has a lazy and rude husband? I think the rude is of the, it's the man from Pirates of the Caribbean. 
Okay, mm-hmm. yes, he is rude, but the sentence started with she. So we are looking for a lady. So mm-hmm. which lady? We either have Marge from The Simpsons, we have Bella from Twilight, or we've got this lady here at number four. Okay, give me a second. Let me just see where she is from. And I will tell you. Okay. So, I don't think Bella is... I don't think they're talking about Bella. Do you think they're talking about Bella? No. Okay. Do you think they are talking about Marge from The Simpsons? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Have you watched yeah. The Simpsons? No, I'm um, no, um, just uh, looking for the looking at the picture the, for the story. Okay, so in The Simpsons, Marge's husband is lazy. Yes. But he's not rude. I would call him funny. So I don't think it is Marge. Okay. So we have one lady left. So who is the lady that's left? Where did you say the lady comes from? Uh, Twilight. Twilight. Okay, no, not the Twilight lady. Okay, we are talking about this lady. Okay, I can't find the answer. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this lady here. So the answer for A is going to be four. He's nasty and dishonest. Do you know what dishonest means? No. Okay. Dishonest means you lie a lot. So I can tell you, oh no, I'm your best friend. But I'm not actually your friend because I don't like you. Do you understand? (coughs) So dishonest means people that lie. Okay, he's also very clever, but not in a good way. So who do you think that is? Uh, Joker. Joker. Mm, I also think it's Joker. Okay, so let's put Joker down for number two. Okay, she's shy and quiet, but she's also very strong and determined. Who do you think Uh, they are talking about? This uh, Bella from Twilight. Bella from Twilight. Good. Okay. He's strong and confident, almost arrogant. He's usually serious, but he can be funny. Okay. So do you know what confident means? Uh, I can hear I can't hear you. Okay. Do you know what confident means? Yes, I know the confidence. Okay. And arrogant? No. Okay. Arrogant is where you are very, like, pushy. So if I tell you, you need to like this because it's the best thing ever, but I do it in a very rude way, it makes you arrogant. And also, if you say, Oh, I'm better than you. I have this car. I have lots of money. I have a fancy house. That makes you arrogant. Okay, but usually serious. Do you know what serious means? Yes. Okay, but he can be funny. So who do you think they are talking about? Uh, The guy from Mission Impossible. The guy from Mission Impossible. Good. I also think so. Because this man over here from Pirates of the Caribbean is usually funny and stupid. 
Okay. So let's see. Write the words for the following pictures. Okay, so can you tell me what you think this picture means? The girl that raised her hand. Okay, raise her hand. But do you see the light bulb on top of her head? A new idea. Yes, it means a new idea. Can you write idea for me? Uh, I cannot write. Okay. Yeah. You... Okay. If you look on your bar at the top, you should have a little picture of a pencil. If you click on that, it'll give you the option to draw or text. So you can either type or you can try and write the words. Can you find it or do you want me to show you? No, I can't find it for Zoom. You can't find it. Okay, let me try and show you. Okay, so okay, look here. <clears throat> you see this bar over here? <clears throat> what? Okay, can you see this on your screen? Yes. Okay. Because you need to click on that one. No, I don't have that one. You don't have that one? Yes. Oh, okay. That makes it hard. Okay. Then you're just going to have to spell the word for me and I will write it down for you. Okay. So here we have idea. Do you know how to spell idea? I-D-E-A. I-D-E-A. Okay. And this one, what do you think this picture shows us? A calm. Calm. C-I-L-M. Okay. And what do you think this shows us? A bully. Bully. Okay. Bully or nasty. How do you spell bully? B-U-L-L. I-N-G. No. Oh, bullying. Yes. Okay, but if you just want to say bully, <clears throat> it's B-U-L-L-Y. <clears throat> and do you know how to spell nasty? N-A-S-T-E. Okay, it's T-Y. T-Y. Okay. And this, what do you think this picture shows us? I think it is a he, she was a uh, quiet. Yeah, she's quiet. Oh, you meant to spell. How do you spell quiet? Q I E T. Okay, Q I E T. Okay, that is how you spelt it. This is how you actually spell it. Okay. So quiet is Q U I E T. Okay. What do you think this picture shows us? A picture so shows that uh, there are poor as uh, a girl give money for a uh, poor. Okay, yes, giving money for the poor. So that means she is. She is. Uh, it's one of the words we discussed just now. Clever. No, generous. Generous. Do you know how to spell generous? G E N Y Y N A T S. Okay. U T S. <clears throat> okay. So generous is spelled Gen. Or, okay, but now you've confused me. Give me a second. 
Okay, it's G E N E R O U S. So G E N E R O U. Okay, that's generous. <clears throat> and what do you think this picture shows us? Uh, the, it? the man is angry. Yes, the man is angry. Can you spell angry? E A G R U. Okay. No, no, no. Angry. Y -U. I mean, I mean, long Y. A long Y. Okay, that's a Y. Okay. So angry is A N G R Y. <clears throat> okay. And what is he? What do you think this picture shows us? The picture shows the 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 okay. the copy the the girl paper. Yes, he's copying the girl's paper. So he is lying. So what does that make him? Is that a make make a. We looked at this word here too. I explained it to you. Uh, do you know honest? This, dishonest? Dishonest, yes. Because it's not his work. He copied it. Dishonest. Okay. And what do you think this shows us? Uh, this shows that two men... Two men is a... Uh, okay, let's look over here for some words. We have generous, lazy, rude, patient, nasty, dishonest, clever, quiet, strong, confident, arrogant, and serious. Okay, so what do you think this is? It's confident. Confident, yes. I also think that's confident. Good. Okay, then here, what does this picture show us? Well, that uh, is, uh, he is green, green metal of the sky. Okay, he's lifting weights, so that means he is strong. Can you spell strong? S T R O N G. Good. Okay. And what do you think number 10 is showing us? Uh, the boy is uh, lazy. Yes, the boy is lazy. Okay. And this, what do you think this is showing us? Uh, showing us the boy is a pinchy. Patient. No, not really patient. He looks a little bit confused. Or maybe he's clever. Okay, let's skip this one for now. What does this one show us? Uh, the man is uh, angry with his job. Okay, yes, angry. Okay, good. Clever. Oh, this one is clever. Patient, rude, quiet, so we got that right. Generous, nasty, dishonest, confident, strong, lazy, serious, and arrogant. Okay. So, we're going to listen to what they say, and then we're going to answer the question. So let's listen. Unit 1. Lesson 1A. Exercise 2. 1. Mean. Generous. 2. Honest. Dishonest. 3. 
Hard working. Lazy. Four. Weak. Strong. Five. Talkative. Quiet. Six. Modest. Arrogant. Seven. Stupid. Clever. Eight. Shy. Confident. Nine. Funny. Serious. Okay. So, the adjectives mean opposites. So, if the opposite of mean is generous, what is the opposite of honest? The dishonest. Dishonest. Good. And the opposite of hardworking? Or lazy. Lazy. Good. And the opposite of weak? Strong. Strong. The opposite of talkative? Uh, quiet. Quiet. The opposite of modest? Uh, I don't know. What is the opposite of modest? Uh, I don't know. Okay, the opposite of modest is arrogant. Okay, what is the opposite of stupid? Uh, oh, smart. Smart or clever. But smart okay. is a, another word for clever, so it's bright. Okay, and the opposite for shy? Is a confident. Okay, confident, good. And funny? No. no. Okay, are you a bit stuck? Yes. It yes. is serious, like the Joker. Why so serious? Okay, and polite? Polite means you are very nice and kind. So what is the opposite of being nice and kind? Uh, rude. Okay, impolite. Okay, so that's a word you need to try and remember is impolite. So what is the opposite for impatient? Oh, impatient. Okay, so just like polite, you added M. So here we have M, so it means it's Patience. patient. Good. Okay. Then we have nice. What is the opposite of nice? Rude. Rude or nasty. Okay. So now what I want you to do is think of two TV characters that you know. Mm, do you have a favorite English movie that you watched? Mm, I think it's like a, a World War movie too. Okay, what is it called? A Robot Boy movie too. Okay, Robot Boy movie too. Okay. Robot Boy. So now, what? How would you describe the main character of the movie? What words would you use to explain how he is? 
uh, the boy, the uh, man is a uh, nice, funny, sometimes stupid. Okay. Uh, they are strong. Uh, sometimes it was lazy and very nice. Okay, strong and very nice. Good. And think of one more movie for me. What other movie have you watched? Uh, Black Panther. Black Panther, okay. So, can you describe the main character in Black Panther? How would you describe him? He was a uh, strong and uh, nice. He is clever. Good, very good. Okay, you've got this. Okay, so label the pictures with the adjectives below. Okay, so we have got arrogant, clever, generous, impatient, lazy, nasty, shy, talkative. Okay, so is there any word here that you don't quite understand properly? Mm, I understand this. Uh, uh... No, I do. I understand all of them. Okay, you understand all of them. Okay, so this picture here. What do you think this picture here is showing us? Show me. <clears throat> He's just going. No. To... The nasty. The nasty. Okay, no, not nasty. All of these are called speech bubbles. See, like this here, it tells us hurry up. So if there is a lot of speech bubbles, it means the man is just talking and talking uh, and talking. Talk 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 <laughs> talk talk talkative. Good. Okay. This one here, hurry up. What does that tell us? Uh, generous. No, not generous. Hurry up. It's impatient. She doesn't impatient. have patience. She can't wait. Okay. So impatient means she can't wait. Okay. And what do you think picture? This one here shows us. Uh, our mom. All right. Okay, wait. Be looking at this one here first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Number three. <clears throat> what does this one show us? This shy. Shy. Good. And this one? The fourth is a lazy. Is lazy. Okay. And number five? Number five is a uh, uh, Morgan. Arrogant. Do you think it's arrogant? Yes. Okay, it's nasty. Nasty. Okay. And this one? Uh, generous. Yes, generous. No, not generous. He got 99% on his test. So if you get 99%, it means you are? Clever. Clever. Good. Okay. And this one here, I'm the best. What is he? Uh, I'm arrogant. Arrogant, yes. And in this one, he's giving gifts. What does that make him? Generous. Generous. Okay. So now, write adjectives with the opposite meaning to those in exercise one. So one, we have arrogant. What is the opposite of arrogant? Uh, okay, you want to go back one page so you can look? Modest. Modest. Okay. The opposite of clever? Clever is uh, stupid. Stupid, okay. The opposite of generous? 
generous or uh, opposite of generous is a uh... okay let's go look mm -hmm. oh there is no generous here okay so the opposite of generous to me would be frugal there's a word for you Frugal. Frugal. Okay. Let me. It doesn't help me telling you a word and then you not understanding the word. Okay. So generous means you like helping people. <laughs> okay. So the opposite of generous would be you don't like helping mm. people. But we're going to tell you what that is exactly in a second. Okay. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. Okay. Okay. So the opposite of generous is actually selfish. Yes. So selfish means... You don't want to help anybody. You want to keep everything for yourself. So you would rather do things for yourself instead of help somebody else. Okay. So generous is selfish. What is the opposite of shy? Shy is confidence. Confident, yes. And the opposite of impatient is patience patient and the opposite of talkative uh quiet quiet good okay so now let's listen to the dialogues match each person with an adjective there are two adjectives that you do not need okay so there's two here two words that we aren't going to use. Let's try and figure that out. Lesson 1A. Exercise 4. 1. Look, Martha. Jason Mraz is playing in town on Saturday night. Jason Mraz? Wow, I love him. Let's go. There won't be any tickets left. Let's have a look. Oh, there are tickets left. Shall I book them? It's £25 for a ticket. £25? Oh, I don't have enough money for that. Don't worry. I can pay for you. No, 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 you can't. Really? It's fine. I want to pay for you. OK, listen. We have less than a minute left and then Zoom is going to end. So I'm going to end the lesson and then come back for the last five, le uh, five minutes of the lesson. OK. Okay, I will see you oh. now.